your God will come and save you? Inviting you to spend your five minutes in listening, meditating, and praying on the Word of God as you begin your day. Blessing and peace to you and all your family members. May the Lord Jesus bless you with love and peace. December 5th, 2022, Monday, second week of Advent. Prepare your mind and heart as you listen to the Gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O oh my God and King, I beg you to grant me the grace, during this time of meditation, that all my intentions, actions, and operations may be directed purely to the praise and service of your Divine Majesty. Amen. A reading from the Gospel According to St. Matthew Chapter 5 Verses 17 to 26 On one of those days, as he was teaching, there were Pharisees and teachers of the law sitting by, who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and from Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was with him to heal. And behold, men were bringing on a bed a man who was paralyzed, and they sought to bring him in and lay him before Jesus. But finding no way to bring him in, because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and let him down with his bed, through the tiles into the midst before Jesus. And when he saw their faith he said, Man, your sins are forgiven you. And the scribes and the Pharisees began to question, saying, who is this that speaks blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? When Jesus perceived their questionings, he answered them, Why do you question in your hearts? Which is easier, to say, Your sins are forgiven you, or to say, Rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the man who was paralyzed, I say to you, Rise, take up your bed and go home. And immediately he rose before them, and took up that on which he lay, and went home, glorifying God. And amazement seized them all, and they glorified God and were filled with awe, saying, we have seen strange things today. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us pray and meditate. On this Gospel passage, is there anything in your life that keeps you from receiving the blessings of God's Kingdom? The prophets foretold that when the Messiah came to usher in God's kingdom the blind would see, the deaf hear, and the lame walk. Jesus not only brought physical healing, but healing of mind, heart, and soul as well. Jesus came to bring us the abundant life of God's kingdom. The Lord Jesus sets us free from slavery to sin and makes us whole. The Lord Jesus is ever ready to bring us healing of body, mind, and soul. His grace brings us freedom from the power of sin and from bondage to harmful desires and addictions. Do you allow anything 
to keep you from Jesus' healing power? Let us pause to pray silently and ask the Lord Jesus to bless you with all the graces you need for today. Prayer Lord Jesus, through your merciful love and forgiveness, you bring healing and restoration to body, soul, and mind. May your healing power and love touch every area of my life, my innermost thoughts, feelings, attitudes, and memories. Pardon my offenses and transform me in the power of your Holy Spirit that I may walk confidently in your truth and righteousness. Amen.